try it's a cool penny of Indian chief medicine man not a home medicine man there's some interesting goodies on the front table some uh, some clarinets yes trumpet that's a cool 1950 GE paper doll circus set and it looks to be pretty complete we said to have one of the most complete patterns from railroad these are kind of wonderful little pressed cardboard Santa Clauses. Great color. Fantastic antique bellows. 48 star flags. Interesting odds and ends. Uh, this is um, interesting because it's from the uh, Elizabeth Town Consolidated Gas Company. Interesting trap. Rivenock. Some interesting glassware. I think that's kind of a hard to find piece of Fostery Americana right there. I have not seen it before personally. Nice little cut glass pieces, like dark art glass there. Great pair of 50s lamps. And, uh, him and her advancing. Nice shades. Cool wall painting there. Another Mill Drexler oil. Nice looking painting. 19. 68, 69. Last one sold for not very much money, folks. $25, $30, I think. A couple pieces of Roseville. Nice bronze. There's two bronzes in the auction this week, I believe. Nice uh, blue onion funnel and uh, egg cup. S. Kirkenstun Refuse Sterling with the uh, decorated bowls, a pair of them. Sterling corn picks. Jelly molds. This is really sweet. The German tin farm set, lead animals. Oh, I gotta tell you folks, that feels really good. You can see how well it's, you can see the, uh, the drapes and the tables blowing. Hopefully, the fans will make a nice difference for y'all in the auction tent this week. A lot of photo albums, some with new postcards, some with older pictures. There was a couple interesting. I think there's at least one post-mortem. Teddy Big Old Bear there. There's a picture I saw in one of these books of a man missing everything but his thumb on his left hand. Some interesting goods in the case. Some uh, magic lantern slides. A couple of antique pistols. Detroit Building Trades Council, Steel Workers uh, buttons are kind of neat. Some interesting odds and ends. Some molds, looks like. I think that's a good old Indian basket there. Pretty neat piece. That's cool, the old Coca Cola Coina wine bar toys. That's a pretty neat piece. I've not seen it before. Some Rock Island stuff. Oh, showcase full of uh, pocket knives, at least uh, there's a case in there for sure. Some decent little jewelry, some nice little decorative stuff. Kind of like that set there. Some more silver. This is a really good antique bottle. Silver, silver mounts, etched glass. Uh, looks like Swarovski up front. There's a little Indian head stick pin. Some gold watches, great antique pocket watch right there. 800 silver, I believe. Very cool Vaseline glass car vase, flower car vase. Uh, 10 karat necklace, some sterling. A little collection of purses. This was a really good clock. The guts are still there, but the foot's broken on it. I believe that's a sterling box. Uh, I'm not quite familiar with the hallmarks, but it's a good, good book box. Nice antique Skook, Skooka 1920s Fred Harvey, we were told. Male figurine, that's Yadro's younger brother. Cool pastel drawing of the, uh, yeah. the pillow. It looks like uh, he's wearing uh, chaps, doesn't it? Uh, that's pretty cool. Somebody will recognize him, I'm sure. Coca-Cola clock has paper label from 1953 on the back, and it looks right to me. This clock is cool. You can see the handprint right here when the glaze was still wet. Very cool. You don't see that kind of thing very often. Nice yellowware bowls. 
some very neat pieces in the case. Uh, I'll start on the top a couple more uh, dealer tags. That's Gobel Hummel. Early West German Mark Hummel. Some of the other Hummels. Good antique doll furniture. Great antique bottles. All hand painted. You know, mid, mid 19th century pieces. Little uh, Cebus or Beam, I believe. Very cool little uh, smoking tray there, Art Nouveau. Here's the other bronze. So then, uh, service Foundry, Wichita. Some blue and white, some nice tramp art, folk art pieces. A couple of boxes. Pretty cool little piece there. This is not an old shell, but a uh, very cool, very decorative piece. It's a nice blue and white, full blue. Let's see what's in here. Oh, the Omaha, 1898 Omaha Exposition. Some very nice porcelain and pottery pieces in here. Jasper, another Hummel, some Bristol glass. Love the little Fiori, little uh, double handle piece there. That's actually a museum uh, reproduction piece, but it's very great and good looking. Like some Asian pieces. Good looking French figure, old little post lamp. Studio pottery. Cool look to lamp here, and rather heavy marble base there. Some good pots, or some steins. Heady Shoop, another piece of Roseville. Is that McCoy? Sure looks like it. Needle Staffordshire piece. Shearwater. Nice jewel teeth. Uh, if you watch all the videos, you saw me pull this out of a silver plate box. This is dated 1878 on the metal band. Uh, F. Schifferly, St. Louis, Missouri. We have a nearly identical pot. Maybe a year, year and a half ago, it sell through here. Um, from an antique collector's estate. Very cool. I don't even have pictures of it yet. First shot of it right now. Uh, good, good piece in great condition too. Uh, burst leaves look like red wing, but I don't think it's marked anywhere. As far as that, it just has the burst leaves on the two. But that two and the style of leaves is definitely uh, red wing Venus stoneware. Nice spongeware soap dish and a good looking spongeware picture there. Very good condition on both those. Great all over sponge work. Uh, the, the shovel is uh, Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe, Wyoming Red Edge. Nice set of four tiles. A couple of working neons, Miller Light, another special reserve. Ready to drink. It's Friday afternoon, and I might have one of them myself. Nice little uh, set of penny. Uh, looks like a penny slot there. And then here's all the tools. So folks, it's going to be a fun auction. Uh, we've done all we can to try and make it a little bit more comfortable with you. I added some insulation on the elevator shaft, added the ceiling fan, so even if it's warm outside, we'll try and keep it at least comfortable in here. Um, and we've done our best to bring you a nice selection of good stuff for at the auction. A lot of people were not moving much this week or last because of the heat. So we did our best, uh, and we're very proud of it. We have a really, really good auction. We're excited about it. Hope you are too. Look forward to seeing you on Tuesday night. Have a good weekend.